hello friends so today we will see how to define alternate index for vsam so today's topic is to define alternate index in previous video we saw how to define vsam uh, in mainframe jcl so in this video we are going to see how alternate index can be defined so this is the jcl actually alternate for defining alternate index i have uh, created separate three jcl so in first jcl we will define the alternate index that i called uh, step one in second step i will be defining path this is the jcl for that and in third video in third step this is the build alternate index okay so i we define three steps to define alternate index so this video will be three parts okay so first part is defining alternate index so for defining alternate index this is our job card this is simply step name okay don't get confused id comes so as uh, with some definition we are using id camps for alternate index also we are using id camps in three step so defi define alternate index is same like our defining simple vsam file so see this is the vsam file name whose index we have to define so for example i have to define the alternate index for this file so the name for alternate index uh, must be dot aix01 this is the naming convention followed in industries so relate relate this what means this alternate index is related with this okay so uh, alternate index if you have to define alternate index for this file you have to give dot aix01 here here you can give the uh, vsam name after that volume i told buffer space i told free space i told keys i told keys is nothing but that field of, uh, on that basis that vsam file is uh, sorted so this this parameter should be same like your original vsam file whose index you are going to create owner owner you can give anything okay so it is depending on uh, the user uh, you will be given with your id mainframe id you can use that mainframe id here record size record size you are you can give basis on your um, vsam file parameters you can check the record size for your vsam file and you can give accordingly reuse parameter i already told uh, next time you need not to define to load that uh, data you can simply use that already existed vsam so that uh, we are using reuse share option unique key unique key it will be always unique so data this is the data uh, the data part for the alternate index will be this name dot data and and index will be this name dot index same like our simple vsam definition nothing has changed here very simple changes okay now you can directly submit the jcl you can copy this part and paste it in your jcl and submit it you can see that definition and everything will be created okay now in second uh, part you have to submit three jcl total okay this is the one jcl after that you have to define the path define path for defining path this is the job card this is this print you know how to define path this is the name name of your alternate index and dot path this is the your actual name and note note the thing we have you given this name okay tranip dot prd4 the name should be same for 3jcl so this is 
how it is okay this is how it is okay ax dot path ax update so it will define that path after that build alternate index so this is the build alternate index in uh, in data build index in data set here you can give your vsam name whose alternate index you have to create and here you have to give your vsam name dot alternate index okay so after submitting 3 jcl you can see you will see 6 vsam your original vsam name original vsam name dot data original vsam name dot index after that you, you can see uh, your original vsam name dot aix dot aix data and dot aix index you can see 6 file name okay in main frame so don't worry if you cannot follow this i will simply copy it in description you can directly copy from there and you can give the name accordingly you can easily create alternate index for your vsam and still if you have query you can comment me you can mail me i have already given my mail at uh, gmail address in my previous videos you can comment me i will help you in doing this so i hope you learned uh, this uh, how to define alternative index from this channel if you really found this video is helpful please share subscribe my channel and we'll, we'll meet in next uh, next video okay thanks thanks for watching bye